Hey, what's up everybody? And today we got two more figures in the cartoon collection. We got this sexy ass Tila. We got this trap chaw. We're gonna break down each one, see what's going on with it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Looking at the back of the box, it looks like we got Stratos coming, Merman coming. And right here on the back of this trap chaw, what the fuck is this shit? We got some attorney of crack rocks. Look at him, he's, he's hot. That bitch is high off the crack rocks. And then we got Tila getting in over there with a little robot at the palace. That shit looks like my palace. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Her ass is gonna go up there. Right here, look at this. She got some weapons and stuff. I'm satisfied, but let's pop these bitches open. And here it is, first thoughts. I like both of these figures way better than the last four in this wave. Tila's definitely killed it. We'll get into that a little bit later. And this trap jaw, psh, it looks pretty impressive. I love that big ass Eternium crack rock he's got in his hand. But let's break him down first. Right here next to every other trap jaw in this line, you can see the difference. I'm still not a fan of that chest, but that head wise, uh, I like the teeth and stuff, but I'm just so used to the other one. He looks like he got big ass head on him. I love the soulless look. The evil look in the origin's eyes. Working our way down to them arms. It's, it's a little less detailed than the other one. Looking at all the other pieces with them legs. God damn. This bitch, just like the other ones, don't skip leg day. He works hard as fuck. I like the legs on this one too. It ain't showing all the muscles, but the bitches is thick. I like them better than the other trap jaw legs, I'll tell you that. Might have to switch him up. Make me an ultimate trap jaw. I do like the Origins regular arm though. I love how the details in it. Right there in the belt. You know, they did it plain. I like the Origins belt better. Let's look at the detail on the side of these arms. Yep. I'm much more of a fan of the Origins one. I, I, I know the other one's going for the simplicity of the cartoon, but now nah, yeah, fuck all that shit. I like the Origins one better. But them legs, god damn. Working our way up, looking at the side, you can see he's got big ass light bulb head on him. Compared to the other ones, yeah. I'm not feeling that head. Let's look at the back real quick. Right there. You, uh, yeah, I, I just kind of like the Origins ones better. I want to see if that part of the black part looks like it can come off on the cartoon one. I'm going to try that in a second. I do like the belt. On the uh, on the back part of the cartoon one, I don't see no strap parts on it. Looking at the other one, uh, we gonna switch something up. Look at that shit. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like how that looks. You got a little short ass gut on there. I know that's how it kind of be in the cartoon, but I will never rock his ass with the gut out like that. He's defending his crack rock. <laughs> He's a damn drug dealer. I, lo I love that crack rock in his head. There we go. That looks a way better. Way better. A little bit longer arm on him with the gun. I I'm fucking with it. Ah, this makes me like that arm a little bit more. He looks high as shit off that crack. A big ass crack. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I would never thought he'd come with that shit. Switching up the arms. You can see, you can put that normal arm on him to make him look in him sad. Like before he got the robot arm. And you can see, I was able to put that on there very easily. So that's the plus. I do like that for that piece right there. I can mix and match the pieces. Looking at the back right there, you can see it. It covers it up good enough. It ain't like the Origins one, how it covers the chest. But the shit gets the job done. Right there, that's my ultimate Trap jaw right there. He got them thick ass legs. He still got the origins arm, but I'm able to put the other thing on him. The head, we all know, you know, you take the head off the origin trap jaw, it's a little bit different neck. So it would take some finagling. Right there, that looks more in line, the legs proportion on the cartoon one with them origin legs on him. But right there, that, that trap jaw is the chef's kiss right there. I love the way that shit looks. And if I feel like it, yeah, I'll probably order me another one just so I can make me one that looks like that. 
The legs really make it pop. There's something about these cartoon legs. They, they did it good. Right here. Oh, my God. Look at this fine woman right here. They hit the mark. He made us lost for words. Damn, she's looking thick. Even though them legs is probably just the other leg, she still looks like has no skip leg day. She's looking thick, folks. Real nice. And that face compared to all these butter bitch faces back there. Yeah, let's look at that shit. Eyebrows on point. Lips on point. I make up on point. She is a showstopper. This one right here is the best figure, female-wise, that Mattel has ever made for the Origins line. Look at that ass, folks. It might not be the biggest ass, but you see the crease. Her ass actually got a crease. The mother bitches don't got no crease. We're going to go over that in a second. She got a nice hourglass-looking shape on her ass. You see that shit, He-Man? You see that bitch back there? Nah. Milk bottle shape. Milk bottle, milk bottle. There's no curves in that shit. That's probably the best looking face so far. Followed by that one. Yeah, that one right there. She looks mean, but she looks all right. That one, I'm not feeling that one. Damn sure not feeling that one. That one looks like the other one. Nope. Nope. And then we got the sorceress. The face is okay. Uh, that's probably third best. Then you got the last sorcerer face. Her face looks a little bit plainer than the other one right there. She wins third. But right here, folks, comparing her ass to that ass, that, there's no comparison. That should look like she got a diaper on. What the fuck? There is no crease. There's probably shit in there. But right there, that shit's got a crease. You can see the crease coming from the back all the way down. Looking right there. There's a crease in that ass. She works out. All these cartoon figures never skip leg day. They all work out. Well, that bitch over there got a diaper on. Well, right there. That's a good piece of ass right there. I'm definitely going to end up never using any type of origins woman in my stories. But I use this one. She makes the cut all day, every day, looking at the arm gauntlets and all that shit. It's, it's better. I like the plain look on the cartoon figure. But we're going to check out something else right here. You can see that diaper booty right there on the one. Well, her ass, you, you can see the cheek separation. You can see that shit. Yeah, the ass might not be as big, but that's because that bitch got some, some shit in that diaper. That's all it is. There ain't no details or no belt or nothing like that. I don't give a shit. They knocked it out the park. Like, Mattel, what? why couldn't y'all have done that shit right years ago with these origin women? Right there with her jacket off, thinking of them saying the vest off. You can see them saying she got some titties. The other one looked like she got a push-up bra on. But that bitch right there is all natural. You see that shit? It looks okay. But she still got that milk bottle figure that I'm not impressed. Well, her right there, she got her undergarments on. She's ready to mingle. But we're going to try something in a second. But comparing them both right there, yep. Yeah, I'm still a fan of the cartoon one. I have not been disappointed thus far with this figure. A great improvement. But you know what? I think I could do a little bit better. I'm going to try something real quick. I hope you're all ready for this, folks. There it is. She damn near put ass naked. I took the shirt off. A little bit of goof off. Then you hit it with the matte spray. It shit looks all right. Now, calm down, folks. I know she ain't got no nipples or nothing. But it's okay. I, I'm, I'm fucking with it like that. I'm going to order me another figure. I didn't mess up the only one I got. I got another one on the way. But for the video right here, I had to do it, folks. I had to check it out, and I'm not disappointed. All these different figures right here, that Tila wins hands down best sexiest Tila of 2020. One, two, three, four. I don't know if they're going to top this one. Right there. God damn. 
That is my ultimate teeter right there. You put the snake thing on her. Looking from the side, you see little side boobs sticking out and shit like that. That's what I'm talking about. This is my ultimate Tila for my collection. If she ever pops up in the story, her ass is going to look like this. You know what I'm saying? Clap it up, folks. This Tila done brought sexy back. Yes, she did. And you can see I got the one vest on her that made room for her head to sit in there perfectly. Everything is top notch on her ass. But right here, that even looks good. With the shirt off underneath, right there, you know what I'm saying? She got the cutoff shirt going on, that shit looks fly. This is the best, Tila. Great job, Mattel. Y'all knocked it out the park. This might be my, my favorite figure in the cartoon line so far. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to top it. But right there, folks, we got all six figures in the cartoon line. In order, I would say, Tila wins hands down. Then you got Skeletor. Then you got Crackhead Chap Traw. Then you got Beast Man back there, followed by Man at Arms. And then this bitch ass He Man. The only thing good on his ass is them legs. Well, that's it, folks. I cannot wait to get my hands on Stratos and Merman. But besides that, I'm satisfied and they going in the right direction. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.